Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the page 488 in our prayer books. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. God, our comforter, send your Holy Spirit to reveal your hidden mercy, even in our failures and troubles. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our morning prayer this for today is uh, on hymn number 19, page 734. O God of truth, O Lord of might, who orders time and change night aright, and sends the early morning ray and lights the glow of perfect day, extinguish thou each sinful fire and banish every ill desire and while thou keeps the body whole, send forth thy peace upon the soul. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. A reading from Psalm 119. You made me, you created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. May all who fear you find in me a cause for joy, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me just as you promised me, your servant. Surround me with your tender mercies so I may live, for your instructions are my delight. Bring disgrace upon the arrogant people who lied about me. Meanwhile, I will concentrate on your commandments. Let me be united with all who fear you, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees. Then I will never be ashamed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading for this morning's prayer is from the book of James. Whatever you say, or whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. There will be no mercy for those who have not shown mercy to others. But if you have been merciful, God will be merciful when he judges you. Blessed be God who lives forever, whose reign endures throughout all ages. Declare God's praise before the nations, you who are the children of Israel. For if our God has scattered you among them, there too has he shown you his greatness. Exalt him in the sight of the living, because he is our God and our Father forever. Through God, though God punishes you for your wickedness, mercy will be shown to you all. God will gather you from every nation, from wherever you have been scattered. When you turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul, God will hide his face from you no more. See what the Lord has done for you, and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. You are here, present in our midst. Be our strength this day. Transform the tears of all who are sorry. For you are the joy of all who trust in you. Draw us ever closer to yourself. Be our refuge in the midst of every need. Lead us among, along pathways that are straight and true. Protect our hearts and minds that we may exalt in you. Bless those who are just with your love and shield all of your sons and daughters from harm. And Lord, I pray for those who are suffering this week at the loss of a loved one, a husband, a son. Father, be with these families. Give them comfort. Grant them grace and peace. Continue to prayers this day for Barbara and her family at their loss. We pray for the health, Lord, of Abbot Bernard, Bishop Todd, Bishop Rob. Keep them strong and healthy to do your will. We pray, Lord, for the paperwork and everything that has to go through and all the legal things for Abbot Bernard to move here. And Lord, we pray for hearts to be changed, to follow you, to be patient, to live for you, to accept you, and believe in you, Lord. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, most gracious and good, you have been present with us as we have sung your praise this morning. As your our longing to be with you is strengthened, so also strengthen the labors of the day ahead. And allow us the grace to bring your presence to all we meet in the ordinary circumstances of our lives. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you for joining with me this morning in prayer. May the Lord be with you. May you be a blessing to all you meet this day. And remember, God always loves you.